Okay guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Jay Terraro. In this episode, we're going to talk about is the KTM Duke 200 good for our first bike? Alright, let's go! Alright, thanks guys for tuning in. This is JT Raro. So, pag-usapan natin ngayon if okay ba ang KTM Duke 200 as for our first bike. So, this episode, I'll be telling my own opinions, my own review on it. Tapos mo natin yung uh, KTM natin para hindi mas stock up yung mga gears natin and yung piston and uminitin yung makina, yung battery para mag charge din cause starting it is not alone it's not, uh, sorry, it's not enough alone na para mag charge sya kailangan din sya iikot higher rpms and parang change din natin, gumalaw galaw din parang tayo so Social distancing muna tayo guys, keep safe! Next time, next time na yung landi, next time na yung yakap, next time na yung halik. So, wag muna tayong lumandi sa special someone natin. And uh, next time na din ulit yung other someones natin. <laughs> So, one of our subscribers, si Sir Steven, messaged, uh, what I mean is, uh, commented on my motovlog teaser. I'll put on the description below. So, he commented and asked if would it be a good long-term bike. And, tinanong ko muna first is, would it be his first bike? Because, syempre, we need to know where we're coming from, kung saan tayo nagaling, kung nagmumotor na ba tayo before or hindi. So, on this review, sagutin muna natin is a first bike assuming na hindi pa tayo nakapagmotor before, okay? So, my review on it and my, and my own opinion on it is no, hindi pa siya good first bike Assuming na hindi pa tayo nagmumotor Ah, bakit? Because the KTM Duke 200 To be honest, it's very torquey It has a lot of power Even though very comfortable and very confident ako siya i-drive Ang kinakatakutan ko lang is Masyado malakas yung motor Na we couldn't handle <coughs> Sorry, pumiyok <laughs> Um, we couldn't handle the power that it has and the torque is massive nakakabigla siya so wag muna tayo kukuha ng KTM Duke 200 and the likes um, NS200 kahit mga 150 hindi muna eh in my opinion so ano muna tayo maybe start off with the uh, start off with a smaller bike just like a um, browser 135 is good CB 110 any bikes that's lower than 135 okay siya basta may clutch cause my reason for it is pag hindi pa sana yung katawan natin sa stress and pagod ng pagmamotor mabibigla yung reflexes natin so like um when I had my first bike, it's um, HT3 Ito ba sa akin yung two-stroke, yung pang-pantra, drum brake pa harap likod Yun yung unang bike ko, I had it for one month Ginawa ko siyang cafe racer, actually two months Ginawa ko siyang cafe racer uh, Hindi siya malakas But, ang point on is, natuto ako, nasanay akong mag-drive ng motor na may clutch na mahina yung preno 
Then nag-upgrade ako sa um, Rouser 135. I bought it from my cousin. Nakaka-cafe racer setup na din siya kasi fan talaga ako ng scrambler and cafe racer or old school na looks. So, ayun. When I got my Rouser 135, okay siya, malakas siya, but dumating din ako sa point na nagsawa ako. Tapos nag-upgrade ako ng 150cc. So, yung block ng NS150, yung ginamit doon sa Rouser 135, pasok naman siya. So, nung nakuha ko siya, okay naman. Wala na talaga akong plano mag palit ng motor but when I saw this KTM Duke 200 it's for a good price inisip ko sige why not upgrade tayo so when I got this nakakalula siya malakas yung motor hindi makasabay yung reflexes ko sinanay ko yung sarili ko so yun so my lesson from that is Start muna tayo sa maliit na motor uh, Pag-aralan mo yung buong power band Sanayin muna natin, katawan natin with all of this power and torque Pag nasanay na tayo, let's move on to the next level Then after nun Pagkasawa na din kayo sa 200 or sa 150 Move on to the next level, mag big bike na tayo Cause it's a gradual thing na Start mo tayo sa mga smaller horsepowers Then Pataas tayo yung pataas like mga ano Mga F1 driver or mga MotoGP driver They started off with very small CC or horsepower F1 drivers started with go-kart MotoGP drivers started off maybe scooter nga eh, or yung mga pocket bike when they, were, when they were young So pag nasanay na yung katawan natin and reflexes natin driving these motorcycles or cars That's where we move on to the next level Tapos yun nga, yung stress level ng katawan natin Madagdag pa Nung unang beso ko na itong motor First, one week ko nagbong motor Stress na stress katawan ko Papasok ako sa work I'm tired Papasok ako sa work Pagod yung katawan ko Mukha akong stress So, ayun Pag nasanay na katawan mo Sa lower CCs After 2 months At sanay na sanay ka na Ginagamit mo siya everyday Move on to the next Then after that, you go with the 390, you go with um, ER6N or Super 4, depende sa yun eh. Depende kung ganong kalaling bulsa natin. Ba't kailangan mo natin sanayin yung katawan natin with all of this horsepower and torque. One more thing guys, yung preno ng Tuk 200, ang lakas. So baka mapigla yung katawan natin with all of this power and all of this braking. Because if hindi pa tayo sanay and yeah, bigla tayong promeno, hindi pa sanay katuan natin with the reflexes, hindi pa sanay katuan natin sa motor Sisemplan tayo panigurado, dudulas yung harap o yung likod So that's one of the few things you have to watch out Yung brakes is uh, kailangan muna masanay tayo sa mga mas malilit na motorcycles, lower CCs Mas mahin ang preno, because pag nasanay na tayo guys And um, napag-aaralan mo yung buong power band Sanay na sanay kayo yung motor Kahit isangat ba yung lower CCs Na motor Sisiyo na na mag-drive ng ganitong KTM Duke 200 Now If assuming nagmamotor na tayo before And bibili tayo ng first bike Hindi naman ako tututol na Kumuha na tayo ng KTM Duke 200 Because honestly guys, it's fun to drive, the power is 
nakakagigil the torque is extensive yung power everything, the styling so guys, for now yun na lang muna if you have any questions, any inquiries or do you want me to do any reviews or if you know someone na may motor or kotse na i-review natin or if you feature natin here on our channel just comment on the YouTube or message me on Facebook or on Instagram before natin tatapusin I just would like to shout out to all of the frontliners sa lahat ng mga security guards sa lahat ng mga politiko natin na nagigot para magbigay ng tamang ayuda and uh, sa lahat ng na-expose sa COVID right now just to give us service mga nagde-deliver, mga grab, mga lala move everyone who's involved to make this community run kahit naka ECQ tayo kahit naka enhanced community quarantine mabuhay po kayo pasalamat po sa tulong nyo and um, before we end this please subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on instagram it's jt.raro and on facebook it's jt.raro and also on my patreon drive safe guys